My name is Owen Gilsley. I'm an artist uh, based in East London um, and I specialise in handcrafted illustration and set design. Uh, so everything I do is handmade, uh, predominantly using paper but also other materials as well. Uh, so my studio is based in Dalston in East London. Um, I've been here for about five years. Um, it's kind of probably the third or fourth studio I've been in over the years. Um, the first was kind of a bit of a squat, it didn't have any heating or hot water and so now this is very much an upgrade. Um, it's a very nice light space. Um, I'm able to shoot my work in it because I often shoot using natural light uh, which is great for me and also it's a really nice community feel in the space. There's about 30 or 40 different studios in the building, um, each with photographers, illustrators, printmakers, um, and so really lots of nice people, lots of inspiration, um, which I think is important as a freelancer because it's good to be surrounded by a lot of people you're inspired by. A normal day uh, for me, um, I try and keep quite sort of uh, structured days, like I'll be in sort of around nine, leave, try and leave at six, depending on how busy things are. and. Um, there will quite often be quite a few projects going on at once, normally at least two or three. Um, so in the space I'll have assistance in helping and we'll be sort of probably midway through making a project whilst I'm artworking, planning another project with my agents. Um, and we try and do everything in-house in the studio. Um, so um, I will do all the making here. I also quite often do my own photography and then I quite like to do a retouching as well. Um, and it's nice because then we get to get involved in all the aspects and just kind of oversee the whole thing, just making sure it all sort of is up to the standard that the client's expecting. So my work involves quite a lot of processes um, in the sort of making of an artwork. Um, I always uh, start off with rough pencil sketches. Um, it allows me to get my ideas down quite loosely and I've got lots of sketchbooks over the years that I've gathered, lots of ideas um, jotted down. And then I'll share those with a client and I, I quite like working in a collaborative way uh, when working with someone. So we'll talk and go through the ideas together, pick a route that we think is, is best. And then I'll draw everything up in, um, in Illustrator on the computer. And that gives me a chance to refine the forms, work out the detail. And also it's nice because when you're making, it's quite hard to make changes later down the line. So I'll, it'll allow me to do a lot of uh, tweaks and amends in the digital stage uh, with a client before I begin making. Um, then once that's signed off, I'll actually print the line work from the drawing onto the paper, uh, but I actually print it backwards. So once everything's cut out, I can flip it round and you don't see all the messy details. And then I'll photograph it in my studio. I've got a nice big window, lots of natural light, um, take a sort of quick photo, and then bring it back into the computer where I retouch, clean up, and so it's kind of lots of digital either side and then a chunk of making in the middle. But yeah, it's fun sort of seeing the whole process through. So a project I've recently been working on in the studio is um, a set of greeting cards in collaboration with my agents in the US. Um, they wanted me to create um, some promos for them that they could send out to clients. And it's a nice project for me because it gives me a chance to explore typography, which um, is a big passion of mine. I actually studied graphic design. Um, at uni and so I've always been interested in typography and, and this gives me a chance to try out some different ideas and techniques. Also uh, personal projects are really important to me. Um, they give me a chance to sort of have a break away from uh, client work which I mean I really love a commission. I love getting a brief in and the challenge that leads to but at the same time it's nice doing projects where you don't have someone looking over your shoulder um, it gives me a chance to try out some new ideas and techniques that maybe I haven't tried before. And also I often find that the personal projects are what leads to the most interesting commissions because they don't have a logo or a brand tied to them. And so quite often I get people um, referencing my personal projects and saying, can you do this for us? And so it's nice because it means I can kind of lead the way with that. So with this greeting card set, I thought it'd be really nice to explore some bold typography using a quite colourful but select colour palette. Um, and I thought with the greetings it could be fun to not use your everyday sort of like happy birthday, things like that, but actually just to go for very simple uh, single word um, greetings and to be sort of playful with the way that the type is laid out. Um, all the typography is then layered up 
um, I, I layer my artwork using foam board and that then creates depth and then the natural light will then cast a really nice soft shadow which kind of helps to bring the artwork to life and look like the artwork sort of jumping off the page which I, I find quite fun playing with.